you know, not being all in Bitcoin feels like that is the risk, right? And so whenever people sell a bit of Bitcoin, like if, if I have some dollars because I've traded something, I'm nervous. Like I wake up in the morning to one of these, you know, 1,000K or 10,000K candles, right? So I'm like super nervous to get back in. Effectively, it's statistically the case, right? So people, when they start messing around with trading until they learn not to do that, people have looked at the data and, you know, if you take out the 12 highest gains days in a year, Bitcoin loses money year on year. So what you're really gambling is, if you're not all in Bitcoin, that you're going to somehow magically pick the days when this doesn't happen and the odds are against you. So it's, it's dangerous to, to you know, not be in rather than have.